Receive texts from you 24-7 And she like the way I take her to heaven If I could stop for a minute Tired of waiting, losing my patience Tired of the same hard communication We just go back and forth with the same shit You can save your breath for a new conversation Can you take a hit? Like, I don't wanna talk no more I've been stressed out enough trying to hold my own Think I'll crash right here on the stone cold floor Cause this place ain't for me, no it's not my home Tired of waiting, losing my patience Tired of the same hard communication We just go back and forth with the same shit Save your breath for a new conversation Can you take a hit? Like, I don't wanna talk no more I've been stressed out enough trying to hold my own Think I'll crash right here on the stone cold floor Cause this place ain't for me, no it's not my home And it feels like nobody loves you And everybody hates you Is everyone around you trying to change you? Got no one but yourself who's gonna save you The person in the mirror really ain't you I don't wanna stay here, I don't wanna go there It feels like I belong nowhere Hey guys, I'm in Dublin airport at the moment waiting for my parents because they just finished visiting my sister in Bulgaria who's studying medicine. She actually makes a few YouTube videos herself so you can check her videos down below. But I just wanted to give a little bit more insight into what we actually did today in class. Um, those little clips that I showed you um, were from our two modules that we did today. One, well, The first one was C, which is called uh, CA284 as the module code and it's called New Systems Programming. We just learn about C and its fundamentals. So C is the, like the grandfather of most programming languages. Um, so then there was C++. If, if you don't know, in C, plus plus means to increment by however amount. So C++ is like a better version of C. Today though, we were talking about arrays and pointers. In coding, an array is like a, a list of, of elements that is assigned a value. Um, or a collection of objects, you could say. And then a pointer is a variable whose value is a memory address, or its value is stored as a memory address. So yeah, so we, yeah, we're just really essentially just talking about it. We're talking about multi-dimensional, multi multi-bruh, multi-dimensional arrays and pointers and stuff like that. I'll probably show um, a, a little more in-depth explanation later. Maybe you can get more insight into that. Essentially, an array, you can think of it as like a box and you, you can put different items in a box. You can remove items from the box. So let's say we assigned a box maybe called X as a set of numbers ranging up to five. You can actually print X as well. And so list is that. We can actually return what element is at a certain position or in, in Python terms, it's in index. So our first index is actually the zeroth index. So I'm basically asking the console what item will be returned when I call the zeroth position. So we'll print out the zeroth position and see what that looks like. So that is one. So it's pretty simple in Python. You don't have to do anything else. It's just sort of there in the language already. Um, and you can add different stuff. Maybe I want to add the number six to it. So I can do <coughs> this code here. And when we actually print X, six is added there. But let's just take a look at C and um, the extra steps that you need to do in that. Hey guys, so in C, it's a, it's a little bit different. So first, you actually have to include this in order to have inputs and put inputs and return outputs. If you actually want to run, run the program, basically. Um, I spelled that wrong, sorry. If you actually want to run the program correctly. Another thing is you actually have to call a main function like this. So that's what's actually going to run it. And maybe you can return zero. You don't really have to do this in this simple term, but it's going to make sure that the program exits correctly. Now, what we're going to do as well, we're going to have to declare the array, <laughs> which means we have to teach C or tell C that this is the box and this is how many items are in the box. So let's say integer x, int means integer because we have to declare as an integer because it's a set of numbers. 
how many how many number how many elements are in the box or how many numbers are in the box five and now we can just put in how many elements are in the box instead of using regular brackets we're using curly brackets here too so that's cool that's nice but what if I actually want to say print them one by one as an output we have to declare maybe a variable maybe i doesn't really matter but i is the most common one and then we have to make a for loop so we have to start by doing this so for i equals zero so the integer i is going to start at zero position zero which is one here so remember in python the zero position is one or zero it's, it's going to be one sorry so in python the first position which is one here the first integer was one is going to be position zero so this is going to be where our position here is and it's going to return each value from the as from the index from the array sorry so while i is less than five increase i by one so i i, I plus plus as remember in c in the name c plus plus it's going to increment it by one or however much you want but usually plus plus means i i believe and um, so as it goes through this loop first one time next time third time fourth time fifth time blah 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 and then obviously we have to print it so print f present d which means it's printed print the in, integer decimal and then we have to specify what what it is where where what location is that so it's at this x array so when you actually run this program here So when we actually run this program here, the log, it prints out everything like that. One by one, one, two, three, four, five. So that's how we return the array. Good. And then for our next class, um, CA266 probability. There we learned about system reliability. So about series systems, parallel systems, and then series and parallel systems. Series systems are, are like, let's say you have three blocks here and we talk about the percent, the percentage of them um, running reliably would be say 99%, 99%, 99%. There is that 1%, 1%, 1% chance of it failing. And as the amount of components increases, then the increased probability of it failing um, happens. A parallel system would essentially help mitigate that issue of everything just relying on all of them working Parallel means that at least one of those components work and the whole and the, the output would be the same. Parallel systems can also have subsystems. So maybe there's an input here, sub, sub, subsystem A, subsystem B, and then the output. So if one of them fails, you still have um, that output going out through. So this is what a subsystem looks like. Let's say you have a series of eggs going through this conveyor belt system, let's say goes through subsystem one and then subsystem two. If one of them fails, it's still gonna produce an, a chicken. You know what I mean? And getting some work done. I was I was doing a bit of R in um, our business cafe and in the library. So we use a program called R Studio and we use it to do all of our R programs. It's a really good language to learn if you're maybe in data science. Um, yeah, just gonna pick up my parents right now. They're actually waiting for me. I have to pay for the parking ticket too. See ya. But it's not fair I don't need you, I don't need them I just booked a flight, I'll be gone by the weekend I'm trying to get my head straight, I'm tripping for no reason yeah, I don't know what to do, I think I'm falling off the deep end yeah. How was the trip in Bulgaria? Oh, very nice now It's really lovely, the weather's so nice The weather's so nice, so hot It was uh, 21 to 23 degrees One day there's only 24 degrees There's 24 degrees, oh my god, so hot Sunny and your teeth and your the rest of the teeth as they actually enjoyed as well. Oh, good! Uh, that was really nice. Oh, this we enjoyed it. Nice <laughs> weather, nice everything, nice food. Awesome.